Now this is a very powerful electric scooter. It's actually one of the new models out there and you can find it in Romania under the name of Ezotron T11. You can find it in Australia under the name of Dragon Lightning V2 and it probably has many other names over the world. It comes with a removable battery of 60 volts and 26 amps hour which we are going to take apart today. As we remember from the review this scooter can speed up to 80 km per hour. For me it's more than enough. However, the owner of this unit right here wants it to go a little faster. We also know from the review that the controllers from this scooter can discharge up to 40 amps each, totaling a discharge of 80 amps, of which only 50 can be used due to the BMS limitation. That's what we are doing here today, we are unleashing the full power of this battery by upgrading the BMS system. After removing a few screws from the aluminium housing, we can take the leads apart and remove the battery. The main lead is harder to remove because it's glued directly on the battery, so if you're attempting this on your own, just take your time and be gentle with it. This is the BMS that we're going to install now. It's a QECC BMS that I got from AliExpress. It costs about 100 bucks, but it can be installed on any battery from 6s to 16s and it also has active balance which is very important and you can connect your phone to it because it also has bluetooth as you can see the discharge power on this bms is 80 amps exactly what we need for our controllers of 40 amps each moving forward we can now see that under the main lid are stashed four fuses two for charging and two for discharging we need to open one discharging fuse to check if it can take the 40 amps that we are about to release. As we can see it can take up to 50 amps so we are good to go. Slicing the battery open with a sharp razor, again be careful with this if you are not planning to start a fire, it can take some time but it's better safe than sorry. After removing the blue wrap, we can already see that the BMS is located on the top of the battery. Even if it's not mentioned on the aluminum case, we can see on the BMS module that it can discharge up to 50 amps. We still need to open everything up though. Would you look at that? That is just perfect. A perfect job. The last thing we need to check is the maximum discharge rate on the cell. This way we can avoid overheating them and setting them on fire. Now if we google the number of the cell we can see that the peak discharge rate on the cell is 12.2 amps. We have 9 cells in a series in this pack which means the total discharge of one group is 109.2 8 times at peak. Again, we are good to go. We also have an extra security measure as the BMS has 3 temperature sensors that are going to cut off the voltage if the temperature stays at 60 degrees for more than 10 seconds. Now Edward is removing the old BMS wiring and installing the new one. Thank you very much for helping me out. This is done very easily with the help of the labels on each wire. After soldering the negatives, the BMS is ready to be connected and uh, we are almost done. The only problem being that the new BMS is thicker than the old one. So after a few hours of cable management, I have successfully integrated it in the battery housing. Some green lights appear on the BMS, I think it's a way to communicate that uh, it's not going to blow up. And also a red light from the Bluetooth module that means it is active. Alright, it's time to put everything back. I had removed the edges of the blue wrap so that it can fit again and uh, secured it with some thick duct tape. I've also used the regular tape under the blue wrap, an electrical tape on the cells and another fiberglass tape to secure everything. You can find AliExpress links to them in uh, the description. Putting everything back in the aluminium case is the hardest thing to do so far. It seems that the uh, Tessa tape is so thick 
that somehow increased the volume of the whole battery. I pressed it down eventually and closed it up without installing the screws on the top that will most certainly end up tearing apart the VMS wires. I added some black electrical tape instead to make it look nice and we are done. Everything is back together, we can install it on the scooter. Now for the next part you need to ask the seller for the BMS manual. They'll ask you for your email and then send you everything you need to set up the BMS. After scanning the QR code just click on the green button and the app will start installing on your phone. I choose not to allow this app to manage my phone calls. I see no reason what it would do that. Once it opens everything is in simplified Chinese which is not simple enough for me so I'll just switch to English. After connecting the battery to the app, we can see that we only have 63 volts left to do a test drive. The temperature of the battery is 23.5 and if we scroll down we can see how the active balance is working. Of course we have to go through all the settings before we start using the scooter and there are lots of them. They are all explained in the manual. Once we're done with that we can start discharging it. The real time data is pretty interesting, it even shows the amps it consumes. As for the top speed we can see that the battery is now about 60% full and the top speed is 93 km per hour. On a full charge it should be a little more and it's about 10 km per hour more than with the original BMS. So it is an improvement. We can also see that the regen brake is working and it is charging the cells while we brake. After a short test drive of 4 km the temperature is now 35.7 and the top speed is 76 km per hour with the 60% battery. You can see the test drive on my channel in a few days. I've also installed a few extra lights on the scooter, I think it deserves them considering the top speed and also because it's such a good looking scooter. I've upgraded the zoom brakes to Magura MT5 which took me a while because I had to flip the rear motor to fit the brake. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video is helpful for you, bye.